when this became a God, when this became a God, I'm going to tell you a reason why this became a God. When mankind said that God does not exist. When this became a God. When mankind think that God is on a vacation. When this became a God, mankind think that they can do what they want to do without consequences. When this, which is sex, became a God. When mankind think that they are their own ruler of their body, they can have abortion. They can change their sex from a man to a woman or to a woman to a man. When sex became a God, I'm gonna tell you, when mankind think that they can be atheists without consequences, they can be agnostic without consequences, they can be a person that have no regard for God, when sex become a God, when mankind think that they can be a prostitute, when mankind think they can be a pimp, when mankind think they can be a player, being in school, you have the women to go down on you. When this became a God, when any time a child at a five, at the age of five years old, say, mommy and daddy, I'm in the wrong body. And then you listen to a child, and the Bible says, trample a child in the way she go, when she old, she'll not depart from it. But you listen to your child, and your child tell you, mom, dad, I'm in the wrong body. And then you let this child change their sex. You let them go through hormone pills and surgeries, cut out their penis and build a fake vagina. When this become a God, we in trouble, my friend. We in the, we in, we living in Sodom and Gomorrah. America is Sodom and Gomorrah. Anytime you say abortion is my body and I can do what I want to do, wrong answer. This is not your body. This body belongs to God. Whether you believe it or not, your body is a temple of the Holy Ghost. So when this became a God, I'm talking about sex, my friend. Sex is a, it's a God to people. Anytime you are lesbian, you are homosexual, you are transgender, you saying you are God and you worship sex as an object of saying that you are God. You can do what you want to do with your body. My friend, you wrong. God is God. And God gives a choice to choose or refuse. And guess what? When you die, you go into a Christless place that I preach about. I'm not the only one to preach about it. There are preachers out there that are afraid to preach about hell. Even though your organization, they believe that hell is a fairy tale. Hell is a myth. But I give you the difference. When sex become a God. Look at the, look at it. You got young girls, not even married, having sex, having baby out of wedlock. Because they say that I can do what I want to do with my body. You wrong. That's why you're suffering the consequences of raising a hard head child. You're raising rebellious children because your hard head make you live in poverty you live in welfare and you're blaming the president of coming down on hard on people that's not working and you cutting off the welfare when sex become a god what you talking about preacher i'm talking about sex is a god in this nation called america call rome call europe Hallelujah, glory to God. The, hallelujah. I'm going to tell you this, my friend. The first gay president was the one that pushed LGBTQ. I ain't know who I'm talking about. I will not call the name, but you know who the first gay president was. He got audacity to call himself a black man when sex become a God. When L let go People can teach him with questions. My friend, 
anytime you are adulterous, you worshiping sex as a god. I'm not just talking about the LGBTQ. I'm not talking about those that are You are adulterous and adulterous. Know ye that the friendship of this world is enmity between God when sex become a God. You will end up in this place called. <laughs>